Hello everyone, we still have a continuation of our discussion on complex numbers. In one of my videos, I introduced complex numbers and we know what they mean. That they are numbers of this form, z equal to a plus jb or can be z equal to x plus jy whereby x and y are real numbers then j is a, a complex a sign a, uh, which is uh, equaling to j is equal to root of negative one so a complex number may be represented pictorially on a rectangular or cartesian axis and uh, this means we are talking about an argon diagram an argon diagram is the diagrammatic expression of or graphical representation of a complex number. The horizontal axis is used to represent the real axis and the vertical axis or the y axis is used to represent the imaginary axis. Such a diagram is called an Agan diagram. In the figure below we have a complex number A that represents a number, a complex number 3 plus j2 and is obtained by plotting coordinates 3, j2 as in the graphical work. It also shows the Agand points b, c and d representing complex numbers negative 2 plus j4, negative 3 minus j5 and 1 minus j3. This Agand diagram is so much uh, related to the Cartesian graph, meaning that if I'm to plot these coordinates, uh, this complex number, it will be negative 2, j4, negative 2, j4. Mm -hmm. Then negative 3, negative j5. Then 1, comma, negative j3. So let us look at this Agan diagram. We have A, which is uh, 3, this is 3, J2. Uh -huh. We move 3 on the real axis, then J2, or 2 units on the imaginary axis or the Y axis. Then if we go to B, B is negative 2, we move negative 2 units on the real axis. Then we also move 4 units to J4. So that means this B will give you negative 2 J4 points. Then what about C? C, it means you move negative 3 uh, units in the real axis, then negative uh, five units on the imaginary axis. So this would give you a uh, negative negative three negative j5. Then D it means you remove one unit on the real axis positive direction then negative three uh, units on the imaginary axis. So this will give you one negative three j3. So this graphical representation of complex numbers A, B, C, D gives you what we call an Agand diagram. Now let us look at the addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Let's use the guiding question. Given Z1 equal to 2 plus J4 and Z2 equal to 3 minus J. Determine therefore A z1 plus z2 part b z1 minus z2 and z2 minus z1 show these results on the Agand diagram so if we look at z1 plus z2 it means we are going to add the two complex numbers so in adding the two complex numbers it means the real parts are going to be added together and the imaginary parts added together so if I have 2 plus j4 plus 3 minus j, it means I will have 2 plus 3. Then plus uh, j4 plus minus j. 
So this will give you 2 plus 3 which is 5 and j uh, 4 minus j1 uh, this will be 4 it is actually like j into 4 minus 1 which will give you j3 likewise z1 minus z2 i'll just subtract the real parts uh, from each other and the imaginary parts from each other so this will be 2 minus 3 and j into 4 into 4 uh, plus 1 because when you look at this it will be 2 plus j then you subtract 3 you create a bracket here so that it becomes minus 3 uh, then times the sign which is here if it is a positive it remains minus if it is a minus it becomes a positive so that you have a 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 then plus j 5 what about z2 minus z1 it therefore means you have just 3 minus j take away 2 plus j4 so this will be you subtract the real parts from each other this will be 3 minus 2 then plus negative or, or j uh, then minus uh, because here this ne negative times this positive you will get a negative so that you have negative j minus negative j which gives you negative j5 so for us to show the results on the agan diagram it means you have to have your your points together you need to know your z1 plus z2 then z1 minus z2 then your z2 minus z1 so what is this z z1 plus z2 that is 5 j3 5 plus j3 then you have z1 minus z2 it gives you negative 1 plus j5 then you also have z2 minus z1 as as 1 minus j5 so to represent them on the agan diagram you draw your agan diagram as this yeah, show these points real axis and imaginary axis then uh, for z1 plus z2 you go five units in the x axis or the real axis then you move three units in the y axis so that will be z1 plus z2 then again you go to z1 minus z2 that will be negative one in the x axis then five units in the y axis positive direction so it will be negative one in the real axis then five units or j5 in the imaginary axis this will give you z1 minus z2 then z2 minus z1 you move one unit in the real axis then negative five units in the imaginary axis so this gives you z2 minus so thank you so much for watching See you in the next lecture.